Hello, welcome to another video. This video is on the new 1.9 snapshot that is out. I have not done a snapshot video in a couple weeks. So I figured it was time since this net this latest snapshot has come up with a ton of amazing features that I personally love. I love amazing. I have to kill this zombie. And that look at that. Look at that zombie. Just die. Okay, there we go. So, what we have here is uh this is a shield. So I'm going to take that or not. Here we go. So it's in this uh, combat section. You can dye your shield in any color. And I have this one on. So if you put it here, you can wear it. See? And it seems to be only this spot. I don't know if it's a glitch that it's here, but this is where it should be. I, that's where I put it. So, this is what it looks like when you have the shield on. Uh, you right click to hold it back. It gets a, a little bit of a slowness effect, similar to if you're holding a sword that way. And if you're holding a sword and a shield, the sword doesn't... What's it called? Block. Yeah, doesn't block. Here's what it looks like from here. No, that's not what it looks like. Uh, here. That's what it looks like. And then... Yeah, so that's the shield. It protects you from getting hurt. Uh, so yeah, you can... It's like another piece of armor, pretty much. Except you can block with it, which I think is pretty fantastic. So now we need a cow. We need one. Alright. So, a creeper, there's the creeper, so when you attack mobs, any mob, it gives a little brown hearts particle, there's a brown hearts particle, so that's, that's brand new in the snapshot, and let's summon something with a lot of health, let's see here, zombies have pretty good health, let's go over here. Let's go in this cave area. So if you punch it, let's see, I hit the zombie. There's twice. There's three times. So it takes three hits with a diamond sword to kill a zombie. Now watch how many hits it takes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I didn't summon the stronger zombies there. So what happens is, if you see the right hand part, take a look at my inventory, my hotbar. To the right of the hotbar, there is a new icon. When I hold the sword, and when I hold the sword, it fills up. It looks like a little sword, like the strength potion. So what happens is that is a new mechanic that's in fighting. So when you punch, it goes down and it has, uh, it has, you have to wait for it to get back up to the top. So it takes a good second or second and a half, I'd say. Let's see, that's about two seconds, I'd say. Two seconds for, rough two seconds, for it to hit the zombie and then go back to full strength. So if you keep punching, then it never goes back up and you do barely any damage, even if you have a really strong weapon. So that's a new fighting mechanic, which I think, it makes it more interesting, because Minecraft, you just swing and whoever hit, gets more hits usually wins, or has the best armor and stuff. But now, you, there's a little bit more strategy involved, which adds more skill to it, which makes it much more interesting. It's going to really be cool when I go into Hunger Games and I get to do that. So, uh, this is the banner. It's 
just showing it looks a lot like a shield. Uh, the shield is facing the other direction, it's facing left, and it has the uh, rim around it. Okay, and then, now my favorite part. Let me clear my inventory. This is my favorite part, the command blocks. This is interesting. Okay, so, if you haven't noticed by now, see, these. this command block looks a little bit different than that one. It has a little arrow. So this is a change texture for the new mechanic of command blocks. So if I have a command block and I place it, it has the arrow facing towards where I was placing it. So I can say make one going this way or one going up. So now the arrow is going up. So you can go in any direction you want. And this is important. I'll show you, especially with these. Okay, so the first command block, it's normal. There's, you, although you see two extra buttons. So the, this is the normal command block. This is the chain command block. This is a chain command block. And this is the repeat one. So you can turn a command block into any of these by switching. So you can switch. Let's go to chain, or let's say I want repeat, or back to impulse. Impulse is the normal one that it always is. So that's how you get that, and it's actually a different item. Although it looks like you just changed the command block, it's a different block. So this is a chain command block and a repeating one. So you can actually give yourself uh the repeating one repeating command block so that's the idea of it it's not command block it's not command block with a separate id thing so let's take a look at the repeating command block so this is the repeating command block so i have this one uh ignore the tag i'll explain that after but TP at entity whose type equals chicken and it teleports them negative 20 blocks. So if there, it detects a chicken around, it should teleport them negative 20 blocks. Uh, let's summon the chicken. Let's get a chicken egg. And watch what happens. It, it goes away. There's no chicken. So chickens are now all dead. So what happens is. If I have no, if there's no redstone signal going to the command block, it can stay. The chicken is alive, which is a problem. That's why we must eliminate the problem and do that. Let's put it over here. Okay, so it must have a redstone signal or nothing happens. But it acts as like a fill clock. So this is 20 ticks per second. If I get one of these repeating command blocks, I do slash say hi. Okay, get ready for spam. There you go. So apparently it doesn't work until you replace the redstone signal. But it definitely works. It's spammed. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. So it's 20 times per second it ticks. That's how many times. So now I'm going to talk about the tag. A tag is a thing within scoreboard. So slash scoreboard players set, add, remove, okay, so slash scoreboard, okay, so tags are these new things in Minecraft that you can use to keep track of different entities, that's the best way of describing it, so you can keep track of them based on different tags. So, here I have a chicken. I'm summoning a chicken, one up, who has a tag of spawn. So that's the tag. If I wanted to add another tag, I let's say I wanted to add tag. Uh, let's see, tag awesome. So you have a comma and then the quotes. That's how you do that. I'm going to cancel that. 
And so this repeating command block, as you know, teleports all chickens to de their death. They either suffocate or go into the void and die. But this one, this one's special. Look at this. Look at this chicken. He's so special. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. Don't run away from me. I'll kill you like the rest of them. Okay, so. The tag, what you can do with it, is I am... The tag, you can actually act upon entities with tags. Or act upon entities without tags, which is what I'm doing. So that entity had a tag of spawned. So that's how I keep track of it being spawned. And I have a... A, uh exclamation point and that makes it so it's not that's like a not opposite so if all entities who don't have this spawn tag will be teleported but since the chicken over here does he feels special look at him he does he just looks like he's full of himself that's why I'm going to delete this not and bye bye chicken but now this one is being spawned because it doesn't have a tag. It, see, it has a chicken that has the tag. So if I put a knot, it lets these live. If I put, uh, if I remove the knot, then these live and these die. So yeah, that's what that works. And you still have to die. I'm sorry, chicken, but you still have to die. Okay. So that's how the repeating command block works and tags. So that's what I do. Uh, one cool thing that I have done with repeating command blocks is slash tp at p and then over here I add something, let's see, 0 0.01. Done. So now I just added wind or something similar to wind in Minecraft. So it's constantly teleporting me 0.01 blocks and in the Z direction, positive Z direction, which would be south. So it's 0.01 south. So let's break that because that's annoying. And then now we have the chain command block. This is a chain command block. So I have all these, so I say 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here I have, so there's those, and then I have a normal command block. These are powered with redstone blocks. It doesn't have to be redstone, they just have to be powered. And they're all facing that direction, and this one is not powered. That's important. So... What the chain command blocks are for is executing a command in a particular order. So if you want, like, I usually have command block mini games where I want to give a player a score, then teleport them. So I don't want to teleport them until they have the score. So this is a useful way of doing that. Um, here I have execute at entity, who score that high, min equals 1. Slash say the builder is here, and this is an impulse one, just normal. So here, I just have a command block giving me high and resetting it. So I'm going to give myself a high score, and there you go. One, two, three, and four. And this one is not working. And that one is not working, it says, but it is. So let me try this again. One, two, three, four. That's what it does. It executes the command in the particular order. Let me delete that one. So it still does the same thing. It, del it, it does the entire command in the specific order. Making it so this one, then that one, then that one. So, uh, if I delete it, then it won't do anything. Or it will do something. It will do something. Because I forgot this. Okay. So it shouldn't do anything. 
it shouldn't do anything because let's see here it says the builder is here but now since I don't have the score it does not say the builder is here when I do that and that's because this one was unsuccessful but even though it's unsuccessful it still went to the rest of the line but what if I didn't want that what if I wanted it so that if this one failed then all the rest of them fail then I change this to conditional, so the command block behind it has to work in order for this to work. So if I do this, you see 2, 3, and 4. And that's because these are unconditional. It doesn't matter if these two fail. So I have to change all of them to conditional. And it will only work, this one will only work if all of these work. This one will only work if that one works. So, it doesn't work. Nothing happens. So, if I give myself the score, then they all work. Because this one succeeded, and they all succeeded. So, they that's the new command block thing. It, that's the difference between conditional and unconditional command blocks. And then, one more important thing to say about command blocks, which is very exciting, I have to say. Uh, when you do, let's say, uh, I, I forgot how to spell scoreboard. Let, I, let's just say I forgot how to spell scoreboard. Uh, I have no idea, and I know it's S and then C, and then I blank out, because I don't know. And then, what you can do now is you hit the tab key, and it'll give you the option. So... I can switch between these, let's say players, set add, remove, reset, list, enable, test, operation, tag, set, add. Okay, the builder, I'm going to say hi, and 10. So that, you can actually tab complete command blocks, which is hugely, hugely useful. Before, what I would do is I would say slash scoreboard uh, add, and since scoreboard players add the builder, and then I would do this, and then I'd hold shift, and then control C, and then copy, and then put it in the command block. But now I don't have to do any of these steps. I can just go directly into it and tab complete, which makes everything a whole lot easier. Not as much typing. So, now I want to show the lingering potion. Here's the lingering potion. Look at all those fancy, look at the bubble. So this is a bubble. It gives, uh, I should get a better potion actually. Let's get, let's get a jump boost one. Let's get a jump boost. Okay, so, let me go into survival, get a couple of these things because, yeah. And then, slash game mode zero, let's fight this stupid creeper. There we go. Uh, okay, so I'm going to throw a lingering one down. So, I have the potion effect, you see on the upper right hand side of my screen, you can see the rab little rabbit icon. And it's 15 seconds, so if I go out, it'll start ticking down. And if I throw this again, it'll go back up. See, it it's, keeps staying at like 22, but now the cloud is gone, except for this little part. And now it's gone. So now it's just going to wear off, and I can only have jump boost for a short amount of time. So I can only do that. <laughs> so, the... uh lingering potion works so if you walk into it you get the potion effect for a little bit and watch the bubble it kind of goes in on itself and gets smaller and smaller until it eventually just disappears and that's what it's doing so now what I want to do is I want to go is I want to go to the end I'm going to show you a new mechanic with the end so I will be back when I get there
All right, I am in the end. This is the end dimension. Here we have the dragon. So you see these peculiar things. They look similar, if you recognize it, to a fireball. It's hard to see the fireball texture, I know, because of all the fire. But it's the same texture, except these are purple. And you can punch a fireball. And you can't punch these. If you hit a fireball into one of these, it just goes through. So, fireball does damage. It, this, you can't punch it. There's nothing you can do. And the ID for this is a dragon fireball. Alright, I am back. I had to add the negative one to the direction tag. Okay. So, I am going to summon this. Negative three below me. So, it falls. Here we go. Watch it, watch it, watch it. And it stopped. Because that's a lame one. So, it's supposed to hit the ground like that. And it creates a particle for a new potion effect. Or, not really, it's kind of a potion effect. It's not really a potion effect, it just kills by this. So it says, the builder was killed by entity.area.area effect cloud.name using magic. So it's really just the magic spell. And this brings me to another place. And by the way, the dragon, it shoots the, it's kind of like meteors that hit from the sky. They hit from the sky and explode, or the dragon can breathe that particle effect that hurts you. And then the last thing I need to show is the road. This is a road, walkway, path. But this is a grass path, that's the technical term. I call it a walkway. I'm going to give myself a diamond, let's say, shovel. So I have a diamond shovel. Shovels are good for digging dirt, but now if you right-click with a shovel, you get the road. So it's not craftable, you just right-click it. And it must be on grass. If you right-click dirt, it does not work. So it has to be on grass. And I really like the texture of this road. It's a little bit lower than a normal block as you can see here and it looks really good I think it looks like people have been walking over it for a long time and now it's all packed down so I think I think I really like the look of this uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be adding it to villages they might be adding it to villages because they did that in pocket edition I know they have these grass paths so, who knows, we'll see if they do that. So if you like this video, you like my command block explanation, or just think I'm awesome in every way, then definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it with your shovel. Make sure to right click with your shovel. So, until next time builders, farewell.